Palermo, Sicily's historical capital. The city bears the marks of centuries of conquerors. And of course, a century's worth of tourists. Oh yes, the tourists. There's plenty of Sicilian kids to see here. But who am I to judge, really? There's a reason why people come here and why I'm here. You can't deny the vibrancy of it all. There's something always calling for your attention. How much is it? But within all the chaos, there's still that feeling that in some ways, things haven't changed much at all. We're gonna go from the back and then make our way back around. She said basically in reverse. I said that's the way Sicilians do everything. Now, if you live in Sicily, you're not likely to spend a lot of time staring at churches. These churches and cathedrals were built over several years. But Antonella and I decided to make like good tourists and check out some of the history. So every every one of these carts is unique in and of itself. Some of them represent Palermo, some of them represent Catania, some of them represent Trapani. And we saw some truly amazing architecture. If only you could smell the <laughs> wrench. You want me to take a picture? This is the famous theater here in Palermo. They still do plays here. Um, it's the best theater in Sicily. Take two after Wikipedia research. <laughs> um, we are in the Teatro Massimo. I guess it's a good thing we're history buffs. That is enough history. Time for the fun stuff. <laughs> she said, she's like, when I was younger, when I was in the university, I studied all about this cathedral, but I can't remember anything. And I said, you know why? It's boring. <laughs> Let's go get a drink and have a bite to eat. We headed to Marchetto di Balvaro, one of the oldest markets here in uh, Palermo, where we caught a glimpse of what food in the city is all about. These are some foods you won't even find in the Cacuzzi U.S. Cacuzzi Siciliani. This is our Sicilian squash. This is a street lemon market. The ingredients are rich, colorful, seasonal. But the real star? The street vendors. <laughs> they absolutely love the camera and the attention. Hey, boy! Woo! All right! Hey, boy! It's okay! <laughs> but all this browsing was making our mouths water. All right, we're gonna eat some uh, probably panelli, typical Sicilian street food. Delicious. These are sardines becchi figo. These are a traditional Sicilian way of pre preparing sardines. A ring. <laughs> After lunch, Antonella took me to meet her friend Salvino. He goes out every morning to harvest oysters and brings them into the city. Salvino is a manager of oysters and he is all on phone. Now I have nothing against oysters. Oh my gosh. Except, I really don't like them very much. I'm, I'm not sure about this myself. I'm not an oyster fan. <laughs> but, uh... I worked up the courage and shot one back. Oh my, here we go. Very good. Very good. It is very good. But one is enough for me. <laughs> Here's something I truly enjoy eating. It's granita time, baby. <laughs> These guys know what they're doing. This is uh, original granita. They shave all the ice by hand. Lime. Lime. As much as I hate doing the touristy thing, being a dad's more important. So I dutifully marched over to the hat stand to find something for my kids. You win again, Palermo.